Julia is preparing a meal by combining three ingredients. One unit of each ingredient provides the following quantities in grams of carbohydrates, fat, and protein. Ideally, the meal should contain 28 grams of protein, 38 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of fat. How many units of each ingredient should Julia use? So you want to begin by identifying what your unknowns are. What are the variables in the problem? And many times you can figure that out by looking at the question. So the actual question is this last sentence that says, how many units of each ingredient should Julia use? And we have three ingredients, ingredient A, B, and C. So those are going to be our variables. So X will be the number of units of ingredient A. Y will be the number of units of ingredient B. And uh, Z will let that be the number of units of ingredient C. So now we have our variable key. So now you want to read it again and try to identify um, the relationship between the variables that's needed. So if you take a look at uh, the table, we know that an ingredient A contains some protein, some carbs, and some fat. Same with B and same with C. And then below, you'll see that ideally we want our meal to contain 28 grams of protein. So we need, we need something to equal 28, and this is going to be the amount of protein in the meal. So looking at the table, you'll see that the amount of protein given is here in this first column. We see that ingredient A will have 3 grams of protein, B will have 2, and C will have 4. Therefore, we would have 3 times X, since there are 3 grams of protein in every unit of ingredient A, 3X will be how much protein we'll get from ingredient A, plus 2y, the amount of protein in ingredient B, plus 4z, and we need that to equal 28. Next we see that the meal needs to contain 38 grams of carbohydrates. So essentially we need to create a carbohydrate equation. So the carb information is here in this second column. 3 grams, 4 grams, and 5 grams, respectively. So therefore, the amount of carbs we'll get from ingredient A would be 3 times X. The carbs in ingredient B would be 4 times Y, so plus 4Y. And then plus 5Z needs to equal 38. And lastly, we need to have 12 grams of fat, so we'll create a, a fat equation, essentially and the fat is here in the last column. And that would be 1x plus 2y plus 1z is equal to 12. So what you have to be um, cautious of in a problem like this, where the information is given to you in a table format, is that sometimes people assume incorrectly. They'll assume that the table is actually giving them their matrix. So I, I've seen people accidentally do something like this and go, oh, this is actually my matrix. But when you start to analyze the quantities that are given, the amount of protein, grams, and fat, excuse me, protein, carbs, and fat that are needed, you realize that the matrix is actually not what's given to you in the table. So we'll create our matrix now looking at my, my three equations here. So my augmented matrix, my augmented matrix, first row will be 3, 2, 4, and 28. Second row, 3, 4, 5, and 38. And then last row would be 1, 2, 1, and 12. Okay, so remember what I need to see from you, I need to see your variable key, your system of equations, and then your augmented matrix. And so now I recommend go ahead and pause the video so you can enter this matrix in your calculator. We're going to go ahead and use the calculator to write the matrix in reduced row echelon form. And then that will have our solution. So this should be the resulting matrix that you'll get on your calculator when you use the calculator to write the matrix in reduced or echelon form. A couple things to remember. Remember, we generally draw a line here to separate the coefficients from the constants, but the calculator will not include that line. So just know that it really is there. And then our top row, 1002, represents 1x, 
plus 0y plus 0z is equal to 2. In other words, x is equal to 2. Second row, y is equal to 3. And third row would be z is equal to 4. And then since this is actually an application, we want to answer the question um, inwards. So going back to our variable key over here, we saw that x was the number of units of ingredient A, and so on. Therefore, we know we need two units of ingredient A to satisfy the requirements in the problem for the amount of protein, uh, carbs, and fats. We need three units of ingredient B, and then we will need four units of ingredient C. And we're done.